What is up guys, Delboy here. So I wanted to do a post fight review for Anthony Yard versus Walter Gabriel Sakira. Anthony Yard won this fight by a fourth round TKO. He got the job done and you know he was always in control for the most part. First round Yard uh, coming out in that Philly shell type of stance looking for big shots, looking for that big left hook, looking for the big right uppercut. You know, Yard is looking to do damage. He does actually connect with some good shots in the first round. A clear Anthony Yard round. Round two, I actually felt uh, Sakira done a lot better job in round two. I felt he won round two. He did a good job of getting close to Anthony Yard and, you know, he was kind of smothering him and letting off some shots on the inside. He kind of he kind of just outworked Yard in round two. Yard didn't really let his hands go. In those instances in round two when Sakira was actually on his chest, I would have liked to have seen Yard try to work on the inside, but he never really did. You know, he just let Sakira work away up close and he was trying to defend and he was evading some shots, but a lot of a lot of shots were getting through. And going forward, that could be a problem. But round two, I felt Sakira did a much better job. You know, he really smothered Yard at times and got his own work off. I felt round three was um, Yard's best round in the fight. Up until that point, Yard was landing several big shots. His right hand was, was really coming into play. He landed some lovely body shots that clearly hurt Sakira. And in round three, it looked like a matter of time. Yard was really going through the gears in round three. And in round four, that is when Anthony Yard got the stoppage victory. He dropped Sakira um, three times and, you know, after the third knockdown, the referee waves it off. And that was all she wrote. Now, Yard, for the most part, like I said, he was, all, he was always in control. He was never going to lose this fight. Yard was much, much bigger. It looked comical at times. Yard was so much bigger. Sakira looked like a middleweight compared to Yard, to be quite honest. And, um, you know, Sakira, although he was having some success in round two, like I said, he just didn't have the firepower. Um, and Yard, you know, he was never really uncomfortable in this fight. Um, so Yard's performance, I mean, I think we've got we've, we've got to give it a, a solid B, maybe. But I go back to my original point of a few weeks ago. What is Anthony Yard learning in these fights? Is he getting any better? I'm sure a lot of us in the UK have watched Yard from very early on. He was on Frank Warren shows, you know, way before his his tenth fight, and I've seen most of his fights. And I've got to be honest, when I look at when I look at Yard, I see a guy who, in my opinion, has a lot of natural ability. He started boxing late. He only had 12 amateur fights. The level of talent he has is very impressive. I think there is a really good fighter in there potentially. But I wonder I wonder about the matchmaking. I wonder what he's learning in these fights and I wonder whether he is picking up bad habits. And this fight again, I saw holes in, in Anthony Yard defensively. That Philly shell that he has going on, that is going to come undone very quickly at the higher levels. Look at how easily um Look at how often that left hook from Sakira was landing up close. You know, that short little left hook inside. That was constantly landing. And I've seen that shot land on Yard a few times already at this very low level. So when he goes through the levels, you know, these guys are going to see that and they're going to exploit that. Also, the right hand over Yard's shoulder. Yard, to me, man, the Philly shell, it works for some fighters. But most fighters who try it get it horribly wrong. And they get beat as a result. There's so many examples in recent years. One of the ones that really comes to mind is Andre Berto versus Robert Guerrero. Look at Berto's Philly Shell in that fight. Terrible. Uh, Broner's Philly Shell again being exposed countless times. And a lot of times when you look at these Philly Shell imitators like Berto and like Broner, a lot of the times the main re the main way sorry they get beat is pressure. Look at how they cope with um, somebody working up close with a high sort of um, punch output. They don't cope with it at all. You know, they just get outworked and they get beat up up close. And I could see that happening to Anthony Yard. 
I think the signs are all there. On the inside, this guy this guy could get worked. But, you know, even that Philly shell on the outside, man, I mean, I don't know. I think that, that defence is a disaster waiting to happen. I think they need to change it. Not saying never do it again, but, like, do it once or twice. You know, do it for a little bit of a change now and then um, for little uh, intervals in fights. But don't make that your primary defence because I, I can see that coming undone. I really, really can. Um, but yeah, Anthony Yard, he defeats Sakira, he done the job, he got the knockout, he didn't look terrible, don't get it twisted, but I think this guy's quite, quite a long way off world level still, I really, really do, and again, I go back to my original point of my video a few weeks ago where I was talking about Yard's next opponents, and you know, he needs to fight a slight step up, again, Nobody's saying he should fight Elidia Alvarez or Stevenson. Nobody's saying that. Just a slight step up. You know, fight somebody who is a real light heavyweight for a start. Somebody who will come in there with ambition. And somebody who has something to lose, you know. Hosea Burton, like I said, I keep on mentioning him. Why not? Why not? But, you know, we'll see how this unfolds. Maybe they know something we don't. You know, maybe Yard is holding back. Maybe... He's the next best thing since sliced bread. Maybe they're holding something else back though. Maybe the guy is chinny. Maybe the guy has more flaws than we re than we realise. Maybe his stamina isn't good. It's an interesting story is Anthony Yard. I do genuinely like watching him fight though. That's the thing. I think a lot of people in the UK have been critical of Yard. And they kind of get labelled as haters. I like his style. I really, really do. But what, what do you want me to say? I mean... The competition has been poor. Let's be honest about it. But, um, yeah, that's my opinion on this fight. How did you guys see it? Peace.